is Black Friday, so Thanksgiving is giving way to great deals on holiday gifts. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is live at Orland Square Mall in Orland Park to tell us what we can expect today. So, Lauren, good morning to you. You're inside and you still have a beautiful tree behind you. <laughs> Hi there, Jackie. Yes, it is decorated beautifully in here. They are certainly ready for the holiday season. Now the doors here opened just about 20 minutes ago, and we can tell you that we didn't find anybody waiting outside them earlier this morning, but there are people walking around now and they are here and they are ready to spend some money. To tell us a little bit more about what Black Friday entails here at Orland Square Mall, we have Jeff Burnett, who is the general manager here. And Jeff, I first wanted to ask, I heard that a couple years ago, the mall used to be open on Thanksgiving Thanksgiving Day, but you went away with that. What was what prompted that change? Yeah, so uh, a lot of the retailers, shoppers decided that they wanted to uh, spend more time with friends and family for the holiday and uh, save the shopping for for Black Friday uh, today. So, and we're in the six o'clock hour. Approximately, how many stores do you have open? So right now we've got uh, probably seventy or eighty percent of the stores open. We're just waiting, you know, the last couple of minutes here for the rest of them to open. Uh, here within the hour, I'm sure they'll all be open. We've got 150 stores here at Orland Square Mall. Uh, a lot of unique uh, retail shopping uh, available for, for folks to uh, come do their holiday shopping here. In the last couple years, when have you seen things really pick up? Yeah, it's like every hour, things start to, to progressively get busier and busier. So uh, I, I would suspect by, by 10, 11 today, uh, this place will be rocking and rolling. Um, you know, people, uh, people enjoy sleeping in a little bit after the holiday and uh, but, but it'll be a great shopping day, I'm sure. And what goes into when you can't predict if there's going to be a huge crowds or not huge crowds and what time they're coming? Sure. Um, what, what goes into preparing for that? Well, I mean, we prepare the same no matter what, right? We've spent the last several weeks here. We've got hundreds of pieces of uh, decorations around the property and, and in, inside the mall here. The highlight being our 30-foot Christmas tree out in front. It's got over 250,000 twinkling lights on it. Um, you know, so we really try to make the place festive uh, so that people can come in and, and have a great, you know, holiday shopping experience where they can create traditions and, and uh, do uh, traditions that they've already got established. Last question for you. You basically touched on it there, but what do you find is are some of the benefits to shopping in person? Oh, there's so many. So uh, the, for me, it's that you can you can touch and you can feel what you're shopping for, right? So you, you can talk to our uh, retail associates that are in all of the stores. They can tell you about the product. They can help you find what exactly what you're looking for. Um, you know, it, returns are easier here in the mall. Um, you know, and you've got so many options right here at your fingertips. You've got 150 stores plus, like I said, to uh, find that perfect gift for whoever you're looking for. All right. Well, there's a sales pitch if I ever heard it. The <laughs> Orland Square <laughs> Mall is open until 9 o'clock tonight. 9 o'clock. And you can check out all the deals and discounts on their website. And for now, reporting live inside Orland Square Mall, a more victory. CBS 2 News. Back to you, Jackie. A good sales pitch indeed, Lauren. Thank you.